What's up, YouTube? Coming at y'all because I got a request from one of my subscribers in regards to Tone Space. I made a video about Tone Space, but I was just giving you the link and showing you like some of the features of what it do. But now I'm going to show you actually how to use it. Now, I'm using FL Studio 12, which I actually use a lot of different DAWs, but, you know, most common, a lot of cats like to use FL, so I'm going to show you all how to use it in here. So, uh, first thing you want to do is actually go up here. As of right now, I already got Patcher pulled up, so you want to pull up Patcher. You can go by right-clicking, going to replace, and, you know, just grabbing Patcher. All right, so once you've got Patcher pulled up, it's going to look exactly like this. So you're going to see two things. You're going to see from FL Studio to FL Studio. So you want to leave it exactly like that. Don't make any changes right now. Then you want to actually locate your Tone Space plugin wherever you had it at. Mine is actually located with the rest of my plugin. So I'm going to go right here and get it real quick. Um, so that's Tone Space 64, my 64 bit. So what you do, take this, drag this inside of Patcher. Once you drag it, it's going to load up. But right now, as you can see, Tone Space is going to FL. We don't want that. So what we want to do is just right-click here, select Disconnect All. So we're going to disconnect it. So we don't need that to go to FL right now as, as of this moment. So we want from FL Studio to Tone Space. We want that. So leave that like that. So now, as my subscriber stated, you know, he wanted to know how to use it in Nexus, which Nexus is one of my favorite uh, plugins anyway. So I appreciate that. So we definitely going to do that. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to grab Nexus. So I got my Nexus right here. So I'm going to bring Nexus also inside of Patcher. Now another thing, as you can see, both of these things just happened. We don't want that either. So we're going to right-click this first one. We're going to select Disconnect All. Then we're going to right-click this one as well and select Disconnect All. So we want Nexus by itself right now. But we want Tone Space to come to Nexus. That's what we do want. So we're going to take the green to the green. See how that is? Now, basically, the reason why this happens is because the audio from FL is first going into Tone Space and then second going into Nexus. But we do want Nexus to route the output to FL Studio. So, in this case, instead of the green one, we're not going to use that. We're going to use the red icon, which also turns, you know, yellow. So, take this, drag that to FL Studio. Now that that's like that, what we want to do when we come to, to FL, we want to right-click this. Select inputs, and we're just going to go to audio and just come to insert one. Because right now I'm going to put this on my insert one anyway. So, um, and then what you, you'll see that happen. So don't be alarmed when that situation happens. Just come right back and do it again. I ain't click on it right. But yeah, then go to insert one again. So now it's locked in. So once it's locked in, it's good. Now there's a couple things that you want to do when you go to Tone Space. Because right now you can pull up Nexus, and Nexus is going to just have, you know, the instruments that you want to select and all the stuff you want to get to. But before we do that, we want to go to Tone Space first. So therefore, we go to Tone Space, click on that, and uh, pull that up. So there's a couple features that we want to do within this. First feature we want to do, we want to come to where it says Trigger. So you want to be able to use this. Uh, on your keyboard, your actual MIDI controller. So we're going to select MIDI trigger note. So select that. And then we're going to select, I like to select uh, play chord anywhere. That way I can use my black and my white keys. So we're going to select play chord anywhere. Select that. Now, most importantly, we want to know where the uh, where the MIDI is actually coming from. So if you got a MIDI controller hooked up, such as an MPK-49 or an M-Audio Accent, whatever you got, basically you want to come to where it says MIDI in, and you want to select to VST Audio Unit Host. Select that one. Same thing with the output. Select VST Host. Basically, that's FL seeing our MIDI controller already as it normally does when we play any other instrument so they can see what we have. You know what I mean? So, uh... We have that. So now what we want to do is, um, well, I already got, matter of fact, excuse me one second, because I got to plug my, uh, I have to plug my MIDI controller back up because I turned it off because I was using it on my Mac earlier. Give me one second. All right. So now. And I have my MIDI controller pulled up. As you can see, as I'm pressing it, you know, notes are being pressed on tone space as well. Okay, so right now, I'm just basically in uh, just the key mode. So I'm not playing no chord whatsoever. So how you select your chords is this way. When you come to this tab right here, where it says chord, 
you can select what type of chords you want to play. You want to play a minor second, a major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, whatever. You can do whatever you want. My, one of my favorites is always minor third for the simple fact that I like a lot of trap sound and stuff. You know what I mean? That's like my thing. So, um, but now that we got that, is another key important thing we need to do. We need to come here to the pinwheel, which is the settings of tone space. So we select that. Now you want your output port, you can select it on any number, but it has to be on a number. In this case, I'm going to just put it on the number 7. I like to be lucky. All right? So I'm going to put it on the number 7, and then you can just close that out. Now, now tone space is actually situated. So everything that we needed to do in tone space is already prepared. I put myself in, uh, I, uh, you can hear the chords, but I don't like that instrument, of course. So that's just the basic nexus when you uh, first load it up instrument. So we don't want that. I don't want that. And I damn sure don't want this 140-ass tempo either. Um, so I'm going to go back to Patcher. I'm going to click on nexus. And now I'm going to get one of the sounds that I want. Which is, <clears throat> this particular kit is the kit that I'm actually working on right now called Beat God. So I'm going to actually give that away for free soon. So check with me in about like another week and this will be ready. So y'all can have it for free. I'm giving it away. So this is one of my favorites. My favorite piano that I actually created myself. You know what I'm saying? But you can see now how the chords are. I go to strings, center strings that I made. Because this is a good one. But I'm going to go to a different chord because uh, that chord is weak as fuck. So I'm going to come back to tone space. And I'm going to go, let's see what I like, man. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I'll go to that. So you can just play around with the chords all you want. And basically right now, I am not touching all three of those keys right now. Even though I know how, I know how to play chords and stuff like that. But when you're trying to just do something real quick or you on a small keyboard like a 25 or an MPK Mini or something like that, you can't really do no real deep chords like you know you want to. So I was just actually touching one key. That was it. So that chord right there is actually being generated for me. Now another key thing that uh, Tone Space actually has, they got a whole bunch of presets. So if you come in here, you can come to some of these presets right here. And they got, I mean, it's, it's some pretty cool stuff that you can play around with, you know what I'm saying? And uh, come back to uh, the different chord that you may want. Um, where the hell is it, man? Go up. And uh, hold on one second, man. I forgot. So you can play. For those who might not know, like I say, how to actually, you know, play, you know what I mean, is uh is is real cool. And I forgot one step. When I went to the preset area, which you have to do again, once you go to, let's say, for instance, I'm going to select a different preset again. So you see how I selected that preset right there, and it took me back to the trigger. So when I press my keyboard, it's only pressing one note again. So I don't want that. I want to go back to uh, MIDI notes trigger. So I wanted to make my keyboard press it again. You know what I'm saying? So now, as I'm pressing it, that's one key I'm pressing. So like I said, yeah, you can come and rock with these, uh, you know, these uh, presets, man, and um, see what you could just come up with, you feel me? And just come up with some bangers, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Do your thing, man. But if y'all need another, 
you know, tutorial or whatnot, feel free to give me, hit me up. I got so many coming right now. And I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and I know a lot, not trying to name drop, you know what I'm saying? But I've been producing for a lot of cats. I've been an engineer. I'm also an engineer. I do a lot of mixing and mastering for a lot of cats that you probably heard on the radio, all type of stuff. So just get at me. You're not trying to sound cocky or nothing like this, but I really know a lot of this stuff. All the sounds, I got all the sounds, whatever sounds y'all need, feel free to get at me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll be hitting y'all off with tons of free gifts. Every, every month, I'm giving away free gear. You know, microphones, MIDI controllers, beat machines, all type of stuff like that. So make sure y'all check in and definitely subscribe to this channel. Share this channel. Like, comment, dislike, be active. I answer all questions. If you got a question for me, just let me know. And I'm going to get to you as soon as possible. Thank y'all, man. Enjoy y'all night. Make beats and eat cereal.